What's up, peoples? Daniel Day back again with another Loot Gaming unboxing video. Today, we're going to be checking out the May 2019 crate. It just arrived at my house, and I am super hopeful that it is way better than last month's crate, where they forgot to include a shirt for the first time ever. So, fingers crossed that there is actually a shirt in this month's crate. If you are curious to see what's inside, stick around. We will figure it out together right after the break. Okay, so got everything set up. Let's go ahead and cut this bad boy open and see what's inside. Fingers crossed there's a shirt this month. First thing we got appears to be in some sort of plastic. It's got a little tag here that says it is a Skyrim fleece throw. Let's go ahead and get this out of the bag and check it out. Okay, so no way I am getting all of this in frame, but as you can see, hopefully you get the idea. It is kind of a fleece blankety thing with a Skyrim logo on it. It's actually pretty soft, but it's not very big, kind of like the last one of these that they did. It's really not much bigger than a bath towel, which kind of sucks, but it's soft, so that's something, right? Next up is this Dungeons and Dragons Red Dragon Die Keeper. Let's go ahead and open this up and check it out. And there it is. Hopefully that is showing up okay on camera. It came with a little die here. And uh, yeah, yeah, actually pretty cool detail. Very, very textured and that not 100% sure what a die keeper is because I've never played Dungeons and Dragons. I'm sure some of you are laughing at me right now. I don't know if this thing just kind of fits in here like that or what the deal is. But cool little thing to go on a shelf, if nothing else at least. I'm starting to sense a little bit of a dragon theme this month. Next up is what Whatever the crap this is, it is in some sort of bag. Let's go ahead and get it out and see if we can figure out what this is. Okay, uh, still not 100% sure if that's supposed to be some sort of dragon's tooth or horn or what. It's got some sort of ornate thing going on here. I suppose you could use it to drink out of at least, right? Huh, I guess hopefully we will figure out on the back of the poster what in the world this thing is supposed to be. Then we come to, I have absolutely no idea what this is. Uh, some sort of little something. Let's just go ahead and get it out of the bag and see. Okay, yeah, still absolutely no clue there. Uh, this seems to be some sort of fake suede, probably fake leather strap right here and uh, there's no branding or anything on it except for the fact that somewhere in here it's got a big old made in china thing <laughs> stamped on it but uh yeah well okay i'm wondering if this doesn't go with the horn thing somehow because this isn't a necklace so i'm not really sure what this is maybe you like stick this in here or something yeah like maybe do that and wrap it around your neck fill it up with hawaiian punch i'm not really sure weird okay on to the next thing all right this is the monthly pin it looks like it's uh, kind of bronzy looking some sort of metal chalice of sorts with a little loot crate logo i don't know how well that's going to show up right there on the stem and on the back it says to go to lootcrate.com slash pins and it unlocks something epic Huh, okay looks like we've got some sort of magic the gathering arena kind of canvassy paper thing looks like it's got some artwork inside Hopefully that's all showing up okay. Pretty neat, but I don't play that particular game. And then it looks like we've got not one, but two posters. So let's go ahead and check those out. Notice no t-shirt. Boo. Okay, so this first one is apparently a very large advertisement for the new Trover Saves the Universe game. I have read about that. Sounds like it might be neat. It says from the creators of Rick and Morty up in the corner there. Got most of it in frame. Nothing on the back, just blank white. So let's go ahead and check out the other poster. Okay, the other poster appeared to be yet another Magic the Gathering Arena deal. Seems to be a lot of that this month, but yeah, kind of cool artwork on the front there. Let's check out the back, get a little bit more info on the other stuff that showed up in this month's crate. Okay, now that we're on the back, looks like this month's theme was huzzah, I guess. That's what it is, not 100% sure. Turns out that was in fact where you were supposed to put the die on the little dragon thing. The world's smallest fleece blanket. Looks like some folks instead got an 
apron instead of the blanket. That was a Vikings drinking horn, apparently, over there. And the necklace thingy did go with it. I guess that was just kind of an art print type deal going on over here. And the Loot Gaming Chalice pin. I was actually really hoping that it would tell me what in the world that website was for on the back of this poster, but no such luck. Okay, so that was everything in this month's crate, so I suppose it is time to start wrapping up this video. Okay, so that was everything that arrived in the 2019 crate, and I gotta tell you, kind of disappointed. <laughs> there wasn't a shirt yet again. That's actually my favorite thing that arrives every single month, and we didn't get one twice now. Uh, last month I was hoping it was just kind of a fluke, but I'm guessing maybe Loot Crate's just changing how they do things. I don't know. So this is the first time since the very first crate that I'm obviously not wearing last month's t-shirt, because there wasn't one. And this is the first month that I can't really tell you what my favorite item was, because I didn't really like any of them. It would really be me just showing you what the item I hated the least was. <laughs> Hate is probably a little bit strong of a word. It was just disappointing um you know a whole lot of dragon stuff which if you're totally into dragons i'm sure is super cool but just not my thing i don't play dungeons and dragons and i still haven't checked out skyrim i know i know i totally need to but uh yeah yeah just wasn't anything that was my particular cup of tea so sorely disappointed with this month's crate last month's wasn't great either hoping that next month is better not ready to cancel my loot gaming subscription or anything like that hopefully they get back on course but, you know, that's kind of the risk that you run when you do these heavily themed crates like this one. If all you do is send out dragon stuff, then people that aren't super into dragons aren't going to have a great month, right? But I don't want to let that discourage you guys. So if you found some stuff in the crate that was awesome, let me know what your favorite was in the comment section below. Always love chatting with you guys. Also, let me know if I am totally off base and this is actually a really, really great crate. Maybe I just don't know what I'm talking about. With that in mind, guys, just wanted to thank you if you've made it this far in the video. Wanted to give a special shout out to each and every one of my subscribers here on YouTube. You guys rock. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, I would love to encourage you to poke around, check out some of my other videos, and if you like the type of content that I put together for you guys, maybe consider subscribing. It is totally free for you, and it helps this guy out quite a bit. If you'd like to find me other places on the internet, I stream on Twitch every chance that I get. My username there is D-Day on Twitch. I'm also on Twitter. You can find me there at that D-Day guy. We've recently launched a Discord. It is very, very new, and there's not a whole lot of folks on there, but if you're on on the service and would like to come hang out with us, we would love to have you. I do one of these loot gaming unboxing videos each and every month on the channel going all the way back to the first one. So there's a playlist with all of them down in the description box below as well. I hope that you've enjoyed this video and that you found some of the stuff in this month's crate more awesome than I did. Once again, just wanted to say thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. And hopefully I will catch each and every one of you in the next one.